Perhaps it started with Papa Geppetto. Who knows? Whoever started it, though, I guess I'm forever grateful. <laughs> Maybe it started on a Chinese silk centuries ago, reflected by firelight. Superimposed little silhouettes of delicate tin figures imitating the human dance. Yes, that's the way it probably started. Centuries ago, night after night, decade after decade, those little figures entertained the multitudes. Until one day, the fires became electric. And the wood carvers became sculptors. And the clay replaced the wood and all kinds of exotic chemicals formed even more exotic characters that provoked laughter. And then, one day, that electric light became electronic. And a new stage was set for all of us. <laughs> well, it's been a long journey. What lies ahead is unknown for us. But it leads us to wonder, though. You see, all of our creators helped each other. They all learned from one another. And they, in turn, were manipulated by that one great creator. That's why we all act and move as one. A common bond. A bond that soars on the wings of fantasy. The ability to take some cloth, some string, some yarn, a little of this and that, and string it into a child's mind as a breathing, living thing to evoke all kinds of emotion, tears and laughter. Illusion, perhaps, but who can truly say? Many of those we know who caught that dream have put down their tools for a final time and left us to join that one great artist. But they left behind a wonderful gift, a legacy, the body of their work for us to have. But sad you say to see a puppet, a lifeless form never to gesture again by its maker? No. For that movement is now housed in the mind of that child, and there it lives to articulate over and over again, to, to change shape, to become anew, to be built upon. Because you see, you are that child. And that tradition is their special gift to you to carry on, to hand down the body of your work for others to see, to enjoy, and for some to catch a dream and build a body of work inspired by you. <laughs>